Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. For those of you who are new here and I blog every day at kjaggers.com, the link is below. So today I'm gonna to show you my grandma's recipe for Salisbury steak in the crock pot. Now this is super easy. You do have to brown them on the stove first, but that's something that really makes crock pot food better. Um, so many of us have just thrown stuff in here. We didn't take any time to brown it, and it's kind of bland. But when you brown it first, it really does give it a better taste, and it cooks a little bit faster. So what you need for this recipe is about two pounds of hamburger meat, any kind you want. This is ground brown. You're going to need about a half a cup of breadcrumbs fourth of a cup of flour, fourth of a cup of milk, some water, two cans of cream of chicken, Lipton onion soup mix, and I got two packets of brown gravy mix. Now, au jus is usually what they use, um, well at least my grandmother used, but I can't find mine and we got brown gravy, we're going to substitute it. So the first thing you want to do is get your hamburger, breadcrumbs, milk, and soup in the bowl. So there is the ground beef, here's the soup mix breadcrumbs and milk. Now we're going to use our hands, mix them all up and form them into little patties. So you can see I have all of the Salisbury steak um, patties made out. So in the same bowl, because I don't want to dirty anything, I'm going to add some flour and then we're just going to dredge them. So all that means is just give them a light coating just like that. And then we're going to put them on the stove and brown them. Now it's only going to take a minute or two on the stove. And obviously I'm going to have to do it in batches. But um, they don't get cooked all the way through. They just get browned and the crock pot will do the rest. So I have a couple tablespoons of oil, just canola oil. I have the um, Salisbury steaks. I'm just giving them a quick browning and they're going straight from here into the crock pot. So while the Salisbury steaks brown up, I added two cups of the cream of chicken, the brown gravy, and a fourth of a cup of water. Now I will say this, you can use cream of mushroom, which my grandma liked better, but I'm not a fan of mushrooms. Um, and you could use aju, brown gravy, um, either or, but you still need the water. So I'm going to mix this up. It's what's going to top our Salisbury steak. So all of my Salisbury steak patties are in, and you can see they're not completely cooked through. Now I have a really big crock pot. If you have something smaller, just kind of stack them up. Um, and then I mixed up the chicken soup and the brown gravy and the water. We're going to pour that right on top. Okay, so I know it looks like a big mess, but don't worry about it. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Put your lid on. Now, I've got a really fast cooking crock pot. I have it on high for four hours. These will probably be done in two. But this is the perfect meal to make like before church, um, where you can come home and enjoy it once you get out, which my grandmother used to do all the time. And um, it's so delicious. So I'll show you what it looks like plated up. I'm going to be serving it with mashed potatoes and peas tonight. And um, we're just going to let it do its thing. Okay, so it's been almost four hours. Let me lift the lid that way so the steam goes out. And there are our lovely Salisbury steaks. So I'm going to get it plated up. It's time to eat, and I'll show you guys what it looks like um, whenever it's done. Okay, so it's done. I'm just serving it up with some peas and some mashed potatoes underneath the Salisbury steak. This is more than enough for us on this very cool weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. You can find the recipe info on my blog at kjackers.com. And um, I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.